back, it's just gone 20 to 8. Uh, now to a really tragic story. 15-year-old Dominic Crouch took his own life last year because rumours were being spread around his school that he might be gay. Well, sadly, Dominic's not alone, but help is at hand. Teacher Saran Dixon was so moved by his death that she quit her job and set up the charity Diversity Role Models, which aims to tackle homophobia in the classroom. And she's here with us now, along with the charity celebrity patron and Coronation Street star, of course, Charlie Condu. Welcome to both of you. Good Thank to you. see you. Mm -hmm. What was your aim when you set up this charity? I think it was quite simple, really. I had been a teacher for 12 years and always been openly gay with students and never really had a problem. They asked questions, they were curious, mm -hmm. and then they kind of had my back. You know, they defended me, so they understood that the homophobic language and things like that were really inappropriate and they wanted to, to help with that so I just thought if, there are, if kids have no role models, um, teachers who are openly gay or anyone else actually for a lot of them, um, how do they ever get over their prejudice if they don't meet people from that sort of particular group? So that was the aim, was to take people in so they realise that we're just everyday people and no different to anyone else. So you're going to schools, mm -hmm. uh, what reaction do you get? It varies. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, we, we uh, it, you know, you get kids who will uh, outwardly sort of try and display their heterosexuality by saying, "Well, that's disgusting," and things like that, very mm. quickly. Uh, and then um, they're curious. They have a lot yeah. of questions for us. Um, they want to know, but they don't want to be seen to ask because they're so worried that they might look gay for asking. Often, so we let them write anonymous questions on post-it notes, and we get hundreds mm. of questions because it's the first time anyone's given them a chance to ask. Often, it's a cracking idea, though, isn't yeah, it, Charlie? It is. I mean, it really is. Do, do, do you find? I mean, the questions that you're getting, getting asked are they quite challenging? Is it? Yeah, they can yeah. be, but I think that's a great thing. Mm. I think it's really good. And, and, and as Saran was saying, a lot of the time these kids don't get a chance to ask them. I think, I think children, people are, 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 are born accepting. But you know, we're not born prejudiced. We don't. We don't have. It's learned behaviour. It's stuff that happens yeah. as we as we develop. Um, and I think what's great about going into the schools is we certainly don't go in preaching and saying you have to think this. We ask them what they think and then talk to them about it and it's mm. great to see them kind of understanding that, oh, perhaps that isn't right, perhaps that is bullying. Exactly, because they probably, you know, if they, do, if they are saying things like it's disgusting and indeed mm. these kind of phrases, mm. they'll have learned that at home. Mm. That's what I was going to say, or in their environment or, you know, yeah. friends yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a huge responsibility it's on parents. It's about tolerance at the end of the day, isn't it? But we can't um, affect parents as well. We're hoping, we, you know, I say to kids, yeah. don't let you be the generation that throws your own children out of home because of this. And we yeah. talk to them about Dominic and, you know, they're, they're really shocked and upset and a lot mm. of them write on their evaluation forms. They were so upset to learn that somebody died because of what yes. they potentially say. And, and of course, the irony is with, with Dominic is there's a... a, 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 a it's quite possible that he wasn't gay. Mm -hmm. You know, homophobic bullying doesn't just affect gay Absolutely, kids. Absolutely, that's, that's very true. Yeah. Well, tell you what, let's head over to Nick Dixon. Nick is at William Ellis School in North London this morning, and he's been finding out how the charity's work has helped students there. Morning, Lorraine. Yeah, one of the key things here has been diversity role models coming into the school and helping to educate the kids and keep them, you know, when you'll keep them having an open mind as often as possible. We've got Jamal, Rio, Matthew and George here this morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Jamal, you've come across bullying of, of this kind at the school. What happened? Um, I've been I've been here for three years now, and um, just walking around the school, I've heard people I've heard kids saying, "Oh, that's gay, you're mm -hmm. gay," and um, I don't think they really understand the concept of it all and how much it can affect um, homosexual people and how yeah. it really, you know, makes them feel down. And Rio, you've taken part in the workshops in the school. How have they helped you? Well, I think the thing that I've learned is that even though you're different, you shouldn't be judged on it because it's your choice and no one else's. OK. Let's bring in Bavin, one of the teachers who's been uh, really heavily involved in the workshops. Bavin, just really quickly, have you noticed a difference from the kids? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've spent a year working with diversity role models and other charities with the focus that we try and stamp out homophobic language. And it's, it's an evolving process. You know, boys need to be educated so that they're equipped for the wider world. So it's a bit challenging drip feeding a, a, a constant message. OK, Bavin, thanks for that. The interesting thing here, Lorraine, is that when the workshops I've been talking about here are taking place, everything else in the school, all the other lessons stop. That's how seriously they take it. That's really good, Nick. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. And it mentioned boys there, but girls too. Exactly. You know, it's boys, it's boys and girls. And uh, that's, that's really encouraging, don't you think? Yeah, it is encouraging. It's nice to see the boys <laughs> responding like that. No, very, very much How so. many schools are you actually going into at the moment? 
Gosh, well, we're at a, um, a school in Neesden today. We've got mm. a number of schools. We've got about 70 schools who have made requests from around the country. But this could roll out all over the place, couldn't it? It, it could it do, really yes. Could. We have got requests from all around yeah. the country, so that's why we're trying to fundraise sure. to, to get to those schools. And what I really like, and what I love about your character and the thing that you do in Coronation Street, is he's a character that just so happens to be gay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's really a step forward, isn't it? I think so, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, definitely. That was, and that was a conscious decision as well when I, when I started on Coronation Street, that Marcus was going to be mm. uh, the, the, the sort of direct opposite of Sean, who is yeah. much more flamboyant sure. and more obvious, I suppose. Yeah. But why did you get involved in the first place? Were you bullied at school? I actually wasn't. I was really lucky that I wasn't bullied at school, but I witnessed it. A lot okay. of my friends mm. were. And also, you know, I'm a parent myself now, and I, you know, I, I, I want my kids to grow mm. up in a world where this stuff doesn't exist. Kids get bullied. That, that's a fact of life, and they get bullied for everything. Mm. Um, not just not just gay bullying, but racism, being ginger. You know, there's yeah. all sorts of things that kids yeah. get picked on. But uh, and maybe that's just a fact of life. But I'm hoping that we can go some way to at least mm. trying as much as we can. That's to, a great idea. You know, and there's a big do tonight. Yeah, a big there cracking is, event. There is indeed. <laughs> there we're is already exhausted. By <laughs> yeah, we've got a great. Um, we've Alison Moyo singing. We've got wow. Lee Allen and Boy George are coming. It's going to be a big. Look at oh, you, you name dropper. That would <laughs> yeah, be isn't fantastic. That would be, be a big celebration and a big, <coughs> and a big party and just sort of pushing it forward because out of small beginnings, out of you just being a teacher, talking to your, your pupils, look how much it's grown already. Mm. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Great work. Thank you. Have a great indeed. night. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Oh, enjoy. That will be a night. Yeah. Oh, that will be a night. <laughs>